Hello you guys, it's me, Zachary Gamer here. Okay, so today we're going to explain how the Separatist Alliance from Star Wars could have one. I know I didn't make this well. These are ships and fleets. These are planets. Okay, let's get started. Alright, so Jabba the Hutt's planets are the key role for the Separatists to make their, for their forces and fleets to move in. Okay, so if... The Separatist fleet got their support. The Outer Rim will be a key, vital role for the Separatists to take. But the Republic would not take this easily. So they probably would have actually summoned a little fleet of a couple ship, two ships, to blockade one of their fleets. So the Separatist Alliance, I think the stupidest idea, they moved straight for Coruscant, which is up here. I think they had a, should have set up a trap here on Geonosis. Moved their biggest fleet with General Grievous and Count Dooku, leading all the Republic ships destroyed. If that failed and those ships are cr crushed, the Separatist fleet should have got easy access taking Naboo. And... Kashyyyk. With Kashyyyk and Naboo gone, the Republic forces are now scattered around, not knowing what to do. More fleets are deploying around the Separatist Alliance, forcing the Republic into chaos. Now, here's the hard part. Now, we all are thinking, oh, the Separatists, oh, they're all evil and droids are bad, and their whole entire f things are corrupt, but actually, no. The Separatists would actually try to sue for, for peace, since they're already happy with what they got. So if they actually did get this, the war would soon end with a Separatist victory. And that's how I think the war would have gone. Um, yeah, and see y'all later.